So in Black Ops Cold War you need to complete a lot of challenges to get the gold and diamond camos on assault rifles and so in this video I'm going to give you guys the best guide for getting the gold assault rifles really fast by giving you the best maps and game modes, the best class setup for this and then the best tips or strategies in the game for earning gold assault rifles quickly. Now if you want to check out my specific guides for each challenge, for example headshots, long shots, bloodthirsties, those kind of challenges, I'll have a card for those videos on screen or the camo guide playlist which has all of the different challenges for all camos and links for those in the description so if you're interested in any specific guides or the camo guide playlist feel free to go and check that out i'd highly recommend it if you need help with any specific challenges i'll also have timestamps in the description for each challenge but i recommend sticking around until the end of the video so you get the most out of this guide and don't miss out on any important tips but without further ado let's get into this gold assault rifle guide so the first thing to mention is leveling up weapons. You need to level up your assault rifle to a specific level to be able to start completing each tier of challenges. So for example, it's a certain weapon level for headshots, long shots, and so on and so forth. And you need to level up your weapon as fast as possible to be able to get as many of these challenges out of the way as quickly as possible. The best simple way to level up your weapons fast is to go into modes like free for all or domination, and especially in hardcore when your weapons are low level, just to be able to get kills easily. Try and run around and get as many kills as you can. Go over different types of challenges, headshots, long shots, etc. to level up your weapon faster and obviously that plays into this guide. So that's the quick overview but if you want a more detailed guide for leveling up weapons fast, I've got a video for that again. There'll be a card for that on screen and a link in the description. So if you want more help with leveling up weapons fast, go and check that video out. Also very quickly, in terms of the score streaks for these challenges, I'd always recommend going for non-lethal score streaks. That's a spy plane, a counter spy plane and the armor. That way you're not using kill streaks that will get kills and take away from kills you can get towards the challenge. All right, so let's start off with the spray camos then. So for this, you need to get weapon kills. This will obviously come naturally. Specifically for assault rifles, you need to get 300 eliminations in multiplayer with that weapon. This comes pretty naturally when doing other weapon camos. So ignore this for now and it should be done by the time you're finished with your assault rifle. Moving on to the stripes camos, this is where you need to get headshots, so specifically you need to get 100 headshots with the assault rifles, and I'm gonna quickly go through a class setup for this. So first of all, the attachments, I put on the Microflex LED, the SOCOM Eliminator muzzle, the SAS mag clamp, the airborne elastic wrap for the handle, and then the Raider pad for the stock. For the perks, I put on a perk greed wildcard, so I can have two perks in each slot, and I've gone for Paranoia and Forward Intel in the first perk category. I've gone for Scavenger and Tracker in the second, and I've gone for Cold-Blooded and Ninja in the third tier of perks. What about the game modes then? Well, I've gone for Free For All in Hardcore or Core, as that's quite close quarters combat engagement. You're coming across lots of enemies. It's really easy to get those headshots. Also, Domination. The spawns don't flip, and it's easier to flank the enemies and get into their spawns and get headshots that way. So in terms of the main tips for getting headshots, you need to obviously aim for the head, you need to make sure you're not rushing around too much and have a slower playstyle as you're less likely to get killed that way. You want to adjust your sensitivity so that it's not too high and not too low for you, obviously that will depend on your playstyle, but personally for me I've gone for about an 8 horizontal and a 7 vertical, but it's up to you guys. And I'd also recommend using flashbangs and stun grenades to immobilise the enemies to get easy headshots on them. If you're really struggling you can warm up in a custom game to practice with bots and when you are playing in multiplayer, I'd recommend looking at the minimap, the UAV, and listening out for footsteps and stuff like that just to hear and see where the enemies are to be able to find them easier to get easier kills on them. These headshots should come pretty easily, so it might be worth leaving this challenge for now and then coming back to it later if you haven't gotten the rest of them, but you can also go for them if you want while you're leveling up your weapon. It's up to you guys. Moving on to the classic camos, this is where you need to get bloodthirsty medals, and for the top camo, the Bengal camo, you need to get five kills without dying 20 times with all kills coming from the assault rifle. So that's basically just get 20 bloodthirsty medals. The attachments for this would be the Microflex LED, the suppressor for the muzzle, the 13.7 inch takedown barrel, the SAS mag clamp and the airborne elastic wrap. And then for the equipment I've put on a stim shot for the tactical and a field mic for the field upgrade. And then for the perks I've put on flak jacket, scavenger and ninja. And then also for the game modes, I'd recommend going for free for all, domination, kill confirmed, and hard point. My main tips for this would be to not rush around again too much. Pre-aim going around corners if you can to avoid dying someone who's a little bit quicker than you. Reload when it's sensible, so don't reload when you're out in the open or when you're in the middle of a gunfight. Do it when there's no one around. Pay attention to your field mic, UAV, and footstep noises again so you can hear where the enemies are to not be caught off guard and to try and find enemies. And also take cover when needed and don't engage in unnecessary gunfights. If you think you're going to lose a gunfight, don't enter into it. After this we've got the geometric camos and this is where you need to get long shots, specifically for the assault rifles you need to get 50 long shots to get that bloodline camo. And then for the attachments I'd first of all recommend going for an optic like the Axial Arms 3X. I'd also put on the suppressor, the 13.7 inch takedown barrel, the SOF target designator for the body, the field agent grip on the underbarrel, and then the SAS mag clamp on the magazine. I've also gone for the airborne elastic wrap for the handle again and then finally the Raider pad for the stock. 
In terms of the perks, I'd recommend going for Paranoia in perk 1, Scavenger or Gearhead in perk 2, and then finally Cold-Blooded in perk 3. And the best maps for this would be ones with long-range engagements, so for example Satellite, Armada, Garrison, Crossroads, Checkmate, and then possibly Nuketown when it launches as well. In terms of the game modes for this, you definitely want to be playing in Hardcore, so the enemies have a lot less health, and the best specific modes would be ones like Domination, Free For All, and Team Deathmatch. Probably Free For All would be the best one, but Domination can also be great as well, as can TDM at times. My advice for you guys would be to try and maximise the distance between you and the enemy wherever possible, push yourself back as far as you can to increase the chance of getting a long shot, use the ping system in the game to check the distance between you and the enemy by pressing left on the d-pad, it will ping how far away that point is or how far away an enemy is so just use that to know because for assault rifles a long shot counts if it's at 41 meters or more away from the enemy so use that ping system to be able to tell how far away you are to know whether it'll count or not i'd also recommend trying to burst fire if needed to reduce the recoil so you're more likely to get the kill and the gun's less likely to kick up and finally if you need to reload i'd recommend trying to do it when aiming down sight as you're more likely to be able to track the target and not lose an enemy if they run away Moving on to the flora camos, this is where you need to kill 75 enemies detected, stunned or blinded by score streaks or equipment or field upgrades in multiplayer. This should probably come pretty naturally because there's a lot of elements to this that can count towards this camo challenge, but if you want to specifically go for it, my recommendations would be, first of all, for the attachment, putting on the Microflex LED, the suppressor, the SAS mag clamp, the airborne elastic wrap for the handle, and then finally the radar pad for the stock. And then I've put the Danger Close wild card on, which gives you double the amount of lethals and tacticals. We obviously don't want to bother with the lethal, but in terms of the tactical, I put on stun grenades. So obviously we now have two stun grenades rather than one. And for the field upgrade, I put on something like a field mic or a gas mine. For the perks, I'd recommend putting on Tactical Mask in perk 1, Quartermaster, which allows you to recharge equipment in perk 2, and then Ninja in perk 3. And then the score streaks, you want to be putting on the Spy Plane, and this obviously allows you to see enemies on the map, and you can use that to help towards the challenge. The game modes I'd recommend would be Free For All primarily, but also other modes like Domination, Hardpoint, or TDM would also be good, but mode isn't too important in this challenge but those would probably be the best ones my main tips for this challenge would be to try to use the equipment as soon as possible you know throw a stun and grenade if you're going around a corner and you think an enemy might be there and as soon as you stun an enemy make sure you shoot at them immediately so that you kill them while they're stunned otherwise it won't count you need to get as many kills as possible when you call in your uav because that will also count and if you either use the gas mine or field mic you need to put that down in a strategic area to either find enemies if it's the field mic or to affect them if it's the gas you need to put this especially in like a high flow area like a common doorway that people go through or a point on an objective or something like that and then obviously when they're stunned or if they're found on the map if it's the field mic obviously you can then shoot them and that will count this should come pretty easily especially if you call in lots of uavs and stuff like that so i wouldn't worry about this too much but that can be a useful strategy to go for it we'll then move on to the science camos so this is where you need to shoot and kill 50 enemies taking cover from you in multiplayer the class setup would be first of all for the attachments i'd put on the microflex led again the 13.7 inch takedown barrel the field agent grip, the SAS mag clamp, and finally the airborne elastic wrap. And then for the game modes, I'd recommend ones like Hardcore, Free For All, Domination, and Team Deathmatch. Free For All and Domination, yet again, probably being the best modes for this. The maps would be ones like Armada, Cartel, Miami, and Garrison. Those would probably be the best ones. And my tips for this challenge is, first of all, what you have to do is kill someone that's taking cover from you. So the player must be looking at you, and also part of their body must be covered. So for example, the legs and the stomach, if they're looking out and you can only see half their torso and their head, or if they're head glitching again, that would count. Just anything where you can see part of their body but the rest of it is covered and you want to look at areas of the map with ledges or boxes or windows that act as cover because enemies will often come along to that so for example on armada there's a balcony people will often be standing behind that and that count as cover or there's balconies on miami or you know any window in any of the maps places like that again i'll make a more detailed guide if you guys are interested in that Finally, the psychedelic camos, this is where you need to get rapid kills, specifically the final camo for this tier is the bliss camo where you need to kill two or more enemies rapidly 25 times in multiplayer with that assault rifle. This should come fairly easily while going for other challenges again, especially if we're playing hardcore, but my class setup would be something like the Microflex LED, the SFOD speed grip, the SES mag clamp or the 40 round mag. The 40 round mags being so that it's an extended mag so you don't need to reload while you're shooting enemies. and also the airborne elastic wrap and the radar pad, those would be the attachments. And then I put on the perk greed wildcard so you can have double the number of perks in each slot. So I'd put paranoia and forward intel in the first perk category, I'd put scavenger and tracker in the second perk category, and I'd put ghost and ninja in the third tier of perks. For the game modes, I'd recommend playing on hardcore, 
as this makes it much easier to shoot the enemy so they're quicker to die and you're more likely to get the kills in a short amount of time. So hardcore is good and modes like free for all, domination and kill confirmed again are probably the best ones to go for to find enough enemies and to kill them quickly enough to get this challenge done. The main tips would be to reload when enemies are not near so that you're less likely to be needing to reload in the middle of a gunfight. You need to push towards enemy spawns or high flow areas of the map and hold down that area to look for enemies and it can be great to hang around the objective area for example in domination and wait for several enemies to show up to take a flag back or something like that so you can then ambush them kill them both and get rapid kills these are normally pretty easy like i say you'll get them pretty easily but if not that's the strategy just know as well that you've probably only got a few seconds between each kill maybe about three seconds or so to get this kill so it's not a ton of time but it can be easier than it sounds to be honest and you'll often get them when you don't expect it so because you've only got a few seconds be as quick as you can trying to get the next kill don't go wasting time doing anything stupid so if you do all those tiers of challenges, you will get the gold camo for that assault rifle. And like I say, it shouldn't be too difficult if you follow these tips and this strategy. If you want a more detailed guide on any of these specific challenges, like long shots, headshots, bloodthirsties, those kind of challenges, I've got cards, like I say, for those on screen for those specific videos or links in the description. And I've also got other videos like how to level up your weapons fast and stuff like that. Again, they'll all be in the description on screen via the cards and also there'll be a camo guides playlist as well which you can access on my channel so i hope you found that all useful if you did be sure to leave a like on it it really helps me out it helps other people find the video to get gold faster and feel free to subscribe if you found it useful and want to stay up to date with all my latest videos to make going for camos and challenges and doing better in the game a bit easier with my videos and i'll be covering those for both black ops cold war and warzone so i hope you found this useful and i'll see you all on the next video